Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about a cool technology that Ferrari has employed in the Ferrari La Ferrari. And so it's called the Continuously Variable Length Intake Tracks. And this is actually something they used in Formula One uh, before it was banned. Um, but basically you can change the length of the intake runner and this is continuously variable. So you can infinitely change it, you know, between the lowest setting and the highest setting here. Um, and I've just drawn a very simple mechanism of how this might work. So you've got a V12 engine. Uh, it's actually a pretty crazy powerful 800 horsepower revs up to 9,250 rpm this 6.3 liter v12 uh, so you've got the v right there and then you've just got this simple rack and pinion system which you can change the length of that intake runner with now there's a couple uh, theories you know that kind of go into this about why you might want to change the length of that intake runner but the biggest reason why they do this is to improve volumetric efficiency of the engine so at low RPMs, uh, one thing you may want to take into consideration is that if you have a longer path, that airflow is going to tend to speed up and that's going to make it more turbulent and that's going to have a better air fuel mixture. So you can get more efficient combustion uh, at those lower RPMs uh, when you don't need quite as much air. Now once you get to the higher RPMs with a higher load, you might want a shorter path because you're going to have less resistance. It's going to be easier for that air to get into the engine and so you're going to be able to make more power by shortening that path. Now there's another effect as well, and I have a video on uh, variable length intake uh, manifolds, which you may want to check out prior to watching this. Um, it gets into more of the detail of how this exactly works. But there are certain frequencies where you can get this supercharging effect where you have that pressure build up on this intake valve and then you have this pressure wave that bounces back and forth and if you time it right where that pressure wave builds up right before the intake valve opens it opens up and then you push a little bit more air within the cylinder and you're able to have this uh, light supercharging effect where you can actually get volumetric efficiencies over 100 percent meaning higher than atmospheric air uh, within your cylinder and thus you know if you have more air in there you can put more fuel um, more combustion and create more power ultimately. And so this is something that Ferrari has done with the LaFerrari, the V12 engine, uh, revving up to 9,250 RPM. And they actually show uh, some charts uh, where you can look at uh, the opening height of this as a percentage. Uh, they don't tell you exactly how much this opens, you know, maybe just 50 millimeters or 75 millimeters, something like that. Not a whole lot of play there, but you do have a little bit of play with the length of that intake track. So it stays at 100% all the way opened up top. Uh, like we were saying, at lower RPMs, you're going to want a longer path, and so you're going to have that resonant frequency with that supercharging effect, it, which seems to work better with a longer track there. Uh, once you get to about 5,750 in the RPM, you drop down to 43%. They found that to be the ideal uh, range for that to be at. Then it pops back up to 100%. Um, something happening there with that resonant frequency where you're just optimizing the airflow, increasing the volumetric efficiency. Then it drops all the way down starting at 7,000 RPM to 8,250. And then at about 8,500, it pops up to 53% and stays there for the rest of the duration. And so what's really cool about this, if you look at a graph of the horsepower and the torque, you can see, you know, in blue here, we're drawing the torque here, the dotted line, and then the horsepower, the straight line. And so this is if uh, you didn't have, you just had a set intake ratio or a set intake length. And then the dotted path in red uh, and the line in red here is if you're able to vary that using this setup, which they have done right here. And so you can see from about 4,000 RPM to about 8,000 RPM, they've significantly been able to boost uh, the amount of torque that the engine produces. And so you have this nice little bump in the horsepower curve as well uh, in that range. So being able to put down more power through a greater volumetric efficiency uh, using this variable intake length setup. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.